are almost there. We are ready to share our 11th cocktail of Christmas. So many drinks. Holy cow. Um, and because it is New Year's Eve, we had to go traditional this time and bring out the champagne. So we chose a Colette. This is a lower price champagne that you can find at the liquor store. So definitely feel free to ask for it. And uh, why don't you tell them what we're making and I'll get this open for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. So we're making a French 75. So uh, this is a kind of traditional French cocktail. Uh, it was created during the Second World War. I'm not going to go too far into the story, but it's a lot of fun. So it's a cognac and a champagne cocktail. So first things first, I've got a little champagne flute here uh, and a segment of lemon. So I'm just going to take this lemon. I put a little slit in the, uh, in the wedge and I'm going to run it along the edge of the glass. Now, if you really like sugar or you want it sweet, you could always push the lemon down further and get a wider uh, amount of lemon on it. Oh, because the other thing I've got on this little plate is some sugar. So we're going to roll a rim of sugar on there. Now again, what I just did is just the end, but if you got further down, you can lay the glass sideways and kind of get a bit more sugar onto it that way. So I'll bring this a little bit closer to the cameras so you can see. So we've got a nice thick rim of sugar there. Now, some cognac and some lemon juice is what's next. So right here, I've got some lemon juice. We've got about a half ounce, which is quite a bit. This is gonna be on the tart side. Mm -hmm. And we've got some courvoisier. So this is a beautiful uh, cognac. It's very approachable as far as flavors and price point goes. So definitely a great one to have. Um, if you don't have some cognac and you don't wanna splurge on some cognac, if you've got some brandy or uh, even some port for that matter, even though I wouldn't necessarily recommend port for all champagnes, but it can work for some of them. Mm. So we're gonna put another half ounce, so a half ounce of lemon, a half ounce of cognac in there. And then we're just gonna And then the gem? Off. Yeah, the bubbly. Now, traditionally, this cocktail has a, a very large lemon twist. So we do have a fairly sizable lemon twist here. Um, easiest way to do this is use like a vegetable peeler and you just pull it off uh, of the, the lemon. Make sure that you wash your lemon first just so that you don't have a bunch of like wax or pesticides or anything like that on there. Uh, and we're just going to tuck it in here. And there you have it, guys. Oh, that's beautiful. The French 75, festive and perfect for tonight. All right. Happy awesome. New Year's, guys. Cheers, guys. Happy Cheers. New Year's. Drink well, eat well, be safe. We'll Especially. see you tomorrow for our last cocktail yeah, of Christmas, yeah, and it is going to be a doozy. That's a fact. First cocktail of 2020. <laughs> Can't wait to bring it to you. See you tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers.